Well, it's a second chance at glory. Or is it? This story will sound like something right out of Hollywood. A former top prospect in baseball forced to retire, back pitching again a decade later. What is this, a sequel to The Rookie? Well, the main character in this story has the answer. Sometimes the beauty of baseball is not the setting, but the situation. Here's a pitcher who once had it all, now giving all he has left. As you can tell, Brett Wagner no longer throwing in front of thousands of people, but he's okay with that. I mean, the irony of it all is, is I'm actually a better pitcher now, you know. I, I've got a better changeup, I've got a better slider. I just can't beat as many bats as I used to. Missing bats is what made him famous. It's why our country wanted him. He was a lefty that threw 95. St. Louis drafted him in the first round. He had the arm of a star, not to mention the hip of an old man. The arthritis became so painful, Brett was done playing at 25. He had a great future going for him there. Great. And that's the way it goes in baseball. Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. When you're a first-round draft pick, there's a lot of people, family, friends, who are, um, who are kind of living vicariously through you. And, you know, when you give up the sport, you know you're letting a lot of people down. Two years ago, though, he got the itch to pitch again. The former Cardinal in a Twilight League with some other Cardinals from Mechanicsburg. He still runs it up there every now and then when he humps up on one. That means 86, 87 miles an hour. More than enough here. But Brett feels he could still get pro hitters out. He just won't ever get that chance. If I wasn't 38 years old I'd, uh, and then was throwing maybe a little harder, I'd maybe contemplate a comeback. So, no comeback, but he is still hitting his spots. And for this lefty, pitching on high school fields again still feels right. And that, that is the beauty of baseball. It is. Now, Brett was diagnosed with a degenerative hip, but these days he says he feels great. He's back playing because he wanted his son to see him pitch, and it's a good teaching tool as well. Brett and his brother co-own a place called GoAgs, a training facility in Mechanicsburg. Well, it's time to give thanks.